So today we are going to discuss the most important topic that I know of in network marketing, the most important topic that I know of in marketing and sales, the most important topic that I know of for any business person, any businessman, any businesswoman knows that business is always a numbers what? A numbers game. Are we together? A network marketing more so is probably more of a numbers game than any other what? Business. Are we together? So once you get the numbers game right, you get your business, you get this, your network marketing business what? Right. The moment you cannot play the numbers game, then you're in trouble. Now, when it comes to network marketing, our business in particular, is that, first of all, I want to show you that you don't need very many serious people to become what? Successful. But for you to get some serious people, you need to get so many numbers and they sort themselves. What do I mean? For example, I have, uh, I'm now ranked as the top distributor here in Africa. Are we together? And uh, I can say that 90% or 98% of the money that I make really comes from six lines. Are we together? Really comes from six what? Lines. One of them is Duncan's line. Another one is Nicholas's line. Sydney's line. Uh, Evo Diaz line, the top one of Tanzania. Uh, then there is uh, uh, Damian's line. And Godfrey Kasimba's is what? Line. That is all. Are you getting what I'm saying? In terms of lines, there are many people whom I sponsored who are spilled over down there. Are we together? But my money comes from different what? The biggest income. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's probably any other person it, out of those lines, if they left my business, I would not feel any pinch. Are you getting what I'm telling you? But for me to get those people, I have been able to sponsor. 89 people ever since I joined the business. How many? 89 personal sponsored what? Sponsored people. And I've been reading somewhere that all top networkers who are really doing very well, they have been able to sponsor an average of 100 people from the time they joined. So the moment you are able to sponsor 100 people from the time that you joined, that means that it's very easy that out of those, some people will be serious. That's why we are saying that some people will see it and want it. Out together, some will not. So for you to get some who will want it, there are also going to be some who are not going to what? To want it. Out together. So when you are prospecting, when you are talking to people, you must be able to understand you cannot get those who will want it and see it without some of them seeing it and they don't what? Take it up. Some will go big, others will do nothing. For you to get the Duncans, the Sydneys, the Nicholases, the youths, all together, who see it and do it big, you must also account for the nothing doers. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So if I've sponsored three people only, how many of them are going to be nothing doers and how many of them are going to be serious doers? Are you getting what I'm telling you? So the moment the numbers game is not favoring you, maybe out of three, you may not even get any who is what? Who is serious. So you better go big with your what? Numbers. Some people will stay for a season, others will stay for a reason, and others for a lifetime. There are those who will stay for a season, and then after some time they quit. There are those who are going to stay for a reason, and after they have, been, they have fulfilled their reason, either they are not going to become serious or they are going to, you get what I'm telling you, they are making money. But they are, no, they are not as hungry as probably some of us who are here every day, in fact, over time. Maybe those, they are happy with the, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three million a week. Are we together? Yet there are those ones who want to make two or three million a, a day. Two or three million a what? A, 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 a few hours. I get what I'm telling you. Those are the ones who have stayed for a what? A lifetime, doing it big. Some will try, others want to do it. So I want you to understand that uh, the numbers game, uh, first of all, you cannot have everyone in your team becoming serious. 
Are you getting what I'm telling you? So the moment your numbers are very few, if you remember the, the probability of mathematics, are we together? Someone has sponsored 100 people. Another one has sponsored 10 people. Are we together? Who does probability favor? The one who has sponsored 100 what? 100 people. One has talked to 10 people, prospecting calls like the one Laban was doing. Are we together? And then another one has talked to three. Who does probability favor? Are we together? Now, I challenged you and I told you to become successful is very easy. Just track your numbers. The other one is um, you make up in numbers what you like in what? In scale. When I began this business um, five years ago, five years and a half, one of the people that inspired me at that time was this guy called Matt Morris. And Matt Morris had, has this CD or this audio recording called Seven Secrets to Seven Figures. And he explains how he was so, so, so broke. He was so broke to the extent that he was living in his own car. So one day he, was, he joined this particular network marketing company. And he was so inspired the way you and I were inspired to be part of Alliance Motion Global. He had dreams, he had needs, he basically needed to become successful now. So he said, I've joined this company to do nothing less but than becoming the top distributor in this company. He wanted to become top one. So he decided to do more than what everyone else in that company was doing. He started playing games like, let me be the earliest at the training center. That he would feel bad that he comes to a training center and someone has come earlier than him. He was that obsessed about it. He wanted to believe the latest or among the latest. If there was a presentation, he would count how many people do I have in this presentation. And the moment he doesn't have the most, he would feel bad. So he started outworking the people around him. He felt that no one should read more books than me. No one should do more presentations than me. No one should be smarter than me. I went together. Like, he was so obsessed to winning. And after one year and a half, you're going to listen to that audio, Matt Morris was the top earner in that company. And you know how you outwork people? It is by you making up in numbers what you lack in what? In scale. The truth of the matter is that as you are joining the business, you cannot be so good at presenting. Just present. But this time, to as many people as what? As you can. So if there's this person I had talked to, and is a very hard person, I say that's my mountain to climb, and I'll climb that mountain. Before I knew it, I became so, so good. So my dear friends who have joined today, you are one week, you are one month, you are one whatever. Stop dodging the bullet of making up in numbers, what you lack in what? In skills. Do so many presentations. Do them wrongly. It's making you better. Do so many invitations. Do them wrongly. It's making you better. Do you fear presenting to people? Do it. Do you think you're not good at speaking to people? Do it. Do you think that you're not good? Just do as many as you can. You are going to make up in numbers what you like in what? In skill. And look at this. When you focus on numbers, the skill automatically does what? Comes. Because the more you do it, the better you become at it. It's very easy for each one of us to quickly become a top earner in this company. Very easily. Just do your numbers what? Game. Now, the other one is that be patient but consistent. Are we together? Be patient but consistent. When we say be patient, it doesn't mean um, you should take all your what? Time. On uh, activity. Take your time on results, but be very impatient on activity. Are we together? So in short, to phrase it better, be very patient with your results, but be impatient with what? Activity. Feel bad that today I didn't speak to anyone. Feel bad that today I didn't hit my numbers. Feel bad that today I didn't prospect. Feel bad that the day has ended I've not presented to anyone. If you're in network marketing, surely, 
Your business is about presenting to people, am I right? That's, that's the business. So if you spend a day, you didn't present anyone, you didn't prospect anyone, you didn't invite anyone, you are just like a chef who went to town and they didn't cook any food. She went to the hotel and didn't cook any food. Are we together? You, you are just like an engineer who went to a site and didn't even lay any brick. You are just like a doctor who went to the hospital and didn't treat anyone. Are we together? What's the job of a doctor? To treat people. What's the job of an engineer? To construct buildings and structures. What's the job of a networker? To network with the people, to present to people, to invite people, to present products, present the business, to do everything they can. So the moment you have not done that, then forget about becoming a successful networker. Because a doctor who does not treat people, he cannot become successful. Are we together? That's why I'm telling you that. Give yourself a number, a, a ratio, and concentrate on that. If people didn't join, no problem at all. Did I do my activity? Are we together? So I want you to do as much as you can. And the match can only come through consistency. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I'm promising you, my dear champions, the moment you take my strategy of 10 a day, of co course, a 10 a day social media, 10 a day Facebook, do your numbers and you are as good as a successful doctor. The rest, God will do it. But the question is, can I do this every day? I want you to understand that the same commitment this dealer in Chikubo puts on, the same commitment this uh, supermarket owner owns, puts on, the same commitment any other person puts in business, the moment you're also able to put it in your network marketing business, you're good to go. But the moment, I don't know, your mind tells you that as if you're in business, as if you're not in the business. As if you're supposed to be serious. As if you're not supposed to be what? Serious. Oh God, you're in trouble. This guy who's dealing in sweaters, he's not better than Oscar dealing in phones. He's also not better than, than, than a person dealing in land. He's also not better than someone like Arnold who is recording. He's also not better than, I don't know, someone who has schools. All of them have a tool to watch success. Otherwise, we cannot do the same thing. Whoever becomes successful in their industry is level of commitment. A man called Sapolo, the, the owner of Sapolo Kagwa Schools. Do you know why he has more schools than any other school owner? His level of commitment. The man who owns Kitende, he has several schools and what of you? His level of commitment. Are we together? The reason why Jomai is the biggest land dealer in Uganda his biggest level of commitment. So you can also equally become the biggest shot in network marketing. And trust me, you become the biggest shot in network marketing. You're going to have equal success, just like any other person who is the big shot in their industry. Detach yourself emotionally. Otherwise, the moment you take it personal, oh my very good friend, how can Simon of all people? <laughs> or the moment you feel, ah, now this person is now looking at me as being fake. Or oh, innocent is now looking at me as fake. I presented to him, he bullshitted the idea, he's looking at me as fake. You know what? You are really fake. <laughs> are you a people pleaser or you a business person? Are we together? Oh, I presented to Alan. Ah, oh, shit, now Alan is judging me. He's saying, what, what? You know what's up? You're not a business person. A business person is supposed to be strong emotionally. Are we together? You don't care. You are just hitting your numbers. This analogy of being cool, tell neighbor cool, cool, is what is spoiling many, many young people from doing businesses. Oh, I need to be cool. My friends need to look at me as cool. Let me tell you something. You are not cool. Let me tell you something. Even if I'm selling rubbish, 
I'm the one, I'm the garbage collector. But I have the biggest garbage collecting company. I'll be as cool as possible. What makes you cool is the money. Many people, when you tell them network marketing, shy, those things, I can't do those things. Shy, I can't do those things. Shy, I can't do those things. Let me tell you, I'm one of the most sought after people in my age group in these things because I became so good at it. If anyone is going to, um, to give you those emotions that you are a failure, that you, 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 you should not be doing this to want to please them, to want to do what, then you know what's up? Work on your own confidence. Okay, first of all, our, our distributors, our guests must be treated with courtesy. They must be treated with respect. I get what I'm telling you. No more customer care. But again, someone is not supposed to come in and they want preferential treatment. Oh, this one I, I can only present to them at the Sheraton. This one I can only present them whatever. This one I can only do that. Let me tell you something. You need to work on your own esteem. Actually, what's disturbing you is your own what? Esteem. And I'm, I'm talking about this passionately because this is what things I had to deal with when I was growing up as a networker. What if this person does not like? This person may diss me. This person may, I'm going to look fake. This person, I'm going to do what? Now, the, I want you to get past that. How together? Some of these hottest girls that I probably had a crush on. Am I right? Now, I wanted to present to them my business. If they don't join, I don't care. I have to get some of these guys who thought, oh, this one is so cool, and what of you, their opinion matters. If they diss their business, don't care. Do it hard and do it big. But the moment in your mind you have the people pleaser mentality, this one I'll call them when I become successful. Work on your own esteem as a businessman. I've already shared with you, my dear champions, that um, um, don't just do for doing. But do track your numbers. Tell yourself, my target is 10 on social media, 10 on, 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 on Facebook, in this case, 10 on, on offline. Like, give yourself a target of the activity to do. Not the results. Not the what? The results. Don't say, I'm going to present this number of people. Uh -uh. It's going to depend on how many focus you need. So I want you to track the best activity, if I may call the best what? Activity. The best activities, how many I prospected, how many I contacted, how many I did what. How many came is not your problem. Don't be stressed about that. That's why I've told you, be patient on results, but be impatient on what? On activity. Are we together? It's okay to wake up early. That's best. And trust me, it will work out. When David left lockdown, his business had come down. And he said, you know what, Mohose, I'm going to be coming early every day. By 6.30, I won't be at, at Budu House. And I'm going to wake up by reading. I don't know what magic happened. I think God is always watching. He has his secret angel. He's watching. Excuse me, angel of success. Watch for me, whoever is being serious. Things just work in his favor. Today, David is making a lot of money. He has been able to have the, one of the most stable businesses. You cannot tell me someone who is back at home. Who does not give it that shot? Are we together? You can say, for example, I'm going to be reading one hour every day. That's you tracking your what? Your numbers. Are we together? Now, if you, you, your numbers are zero, you're not even in the game. Now, if your number is one person, that's not for dreamers. And let me tell you something. Uh, if it is five you are getting there, double digits, big checks are waiting for you. Double digits. The phone calls are double digits, 10 and above. Double digits, prospecting calls. Double digits, Facebook invites. Double digits, all oh, this one. Double what? Digits. So what you take time to measure, you can do what? Improve it. But uh, show me the next one, Oscar. The harsh reality. Thousands of people in this business of network marketing keep themselves into believing they are really doing the business. When in actual reality, they are doing nothing. All almost what? Nothing. This is what I'm talking about. Then they roam around complaining about that network marketing did not work for them. Yet in truth, they did nothing about their network marketing businesses. Now, I may ask you a question. 
Why are you not making the money? You should be making network marketing. And the answer is very simple. Because you are missing the most important aspect of the business. The most important aspect of any businessman, which is you don't have your, the right numbers. Your numbers don't add up. The moment the number of customers getting into your business, seeing your products, they don't add up, you're in trouble. We are saying that a person who has one person, they are not even dreamers. I want to promise you that there are very few people in network marketing who in a month, they even speak to 30 people. Are we together? I want you to know that. I want you to caution yourself that that one day when you didn't have guests, that there are times you can go three days, four days in a week and not have guests. Are your numbers adding up really? And numbers cannot add up unless you are consistent. Unless you are doing it every day. Unless you are particular about how many people I prospect, how many people I talk to, numbers cannot add up. Numbers can fail to add up in terms of how many hours you put in. Numbers can fail to add up in terms of how many hours you put in to read these books. Numbers can fail to add up when it comes to what time do you wake up. How together? How many productive working hours do you put in? Numbers can fail to add up. Are we together? Ask yourself, are my numbers adding up? The reason why all these successful people have a very, very crazy work ethic, it is because they're trying as much as possible to add up the numbers in terms of time commitment they put in. How are you able to add up your numbers? You can only add up your numbers when you have what they call time management. As we know, many of us, one of the disciplines I keep on trying to develop and improve every day is discipline off my phone and discipline off social media. You know, it's very easy to wake up and when you wake up, of course, you take tea after taking tea, you check email, you check WhatsApp, you check status, you check Facebook, you check, like you are basically busy. But when you look back to what have I done, it's nothing. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So I want you to understand that you must understand what business am I in? And what is the most important thing to make me successful? Are we together? In our business, I think the most important thing to become successful is how you prospect the numbers. Are we together? That is the most important thing. A baker, I think they don't, the baker does not go to his bakery and they start WhatsApp, status, WhatsApp, 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 doing whatever it is. Then before they know it is midday, they have not even mixed dough to make bread. Are we together? I'm imagining a, a chef does not go uh, and then he's WhatsApping, WhatsApping, before you know it, he has not even cooked food for lunch. For them, the most important thing is what they start with. How was I able to build my business for, especially in my first year? I had what they call the power hour. Can you say the power hour? Power. Can you say the power hour? power hour? The power hour is whereby you designate special time, alone time, to do the most important thing. The moment you say, when I get free time during the day, I'll do this, you cannot do it. Are we together? Then you cannot what? Do it. But the moment you devote time, the power hour. So my wife, she said that, she has been having that goal of reading the Bible every day, but she had been failing. Until she decided that I'll put a power hour to it. And every time before she sleeps, for 30 minutes, she'll read that Bible. Are we together? You try to distract her, Sharon. Uh -uh, I'm reading my what? My Bible. It's the power hour. So, the que so for me, what I did, every one hour before, when I reached town, I would reach town, I would leave Seta, maybe by 6.30, between 7 to 8 or to 9. The first hour in town, I would sit with Duncan Hajara, would be making phone calls. After phone call, it was a daily ritual. Are we together? Then later on, as the business became busy, every time before evening, as we were waiting for jam to go down, I would sit with Hajara and Duncan, I would make phone calls in the evening. When we started at University Plaza, every evening after the day's work is done, David will tell you a story better, would sit down and make phone calls. It was the power hour. Ask Simon, he knows. The moment I come into office, the reason why I come so early, and I close that door, it is my time. 
there are some key important things I am doing that I know that I cannot leave them to chance. The biggest problem we do is that the most important thing, we leave it to do what? To chance. When I get free time. So the question I should ask you is, when do you prospect? When do you sit down to get those numbers? The name list. When do you sit down to get those numbers? The social media. When do you sit down to get those numbers on Facebook? When do you sit down? The moment you don't attach a power hour to the most important things, it's crazy. Those very, very important things, have you attached a special time to them and you do them? In this case, prospecting. I want everyone to write down for a minute, what is your prospecting time? What's that time? Unobstructed and whatever. You're not going to go to social media to check status, to check Facebook, to say thank you to anyone. Nothing. What's that time? The moment you cannot define that time, forget success in network marketing, forget the numbers. Lastly, I want to leave you with a quote that says, if you're not making mistakes, then you're not doing what? Anything. Because before you become good, you be bad. Before you become better, you first be good. Before you become best, you first become what? Better. Are we together? There, everyone who is a star at anything, they began as a beginner. And they were never scared to begin. Don't be scared to make that phone call and you make a mistake. Don't be scared to do your first one-on-one. -on -one. Don't be scared to do your first big public rally. Don't be scared. Just do it. Whether you fail at it or not, you are not an angel. You're not good. No one starts anything and they start at being perfect. Everyone begins by failing. Everyone begins by learning. Are we together?